Some people never go crazy. What truly horrible lives they must lead. As we express our gratitude, we must never forget that the highest appreciation is not to utter words, but to live by them. Change is the law of life. And those who look only to the past or present are certain to miss the future. Let us not seek the Republican answer or the Democratic answer, but the right answer. Let us not seek to fix the blame for the past. Let us accept our own responsibility for the future. Conformity is the jailer of freedom and the enemy of growth. The ignorance of one voter in a democracy impairs the security of all. Physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body. It is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. The cost of freedom is always high, but Americans have always paid it. And one path we shall never choose, and that is the path of surrender or submission. The time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. A man does what he must, in spite of personal consequences, in spite of obstacles and dangers and pressures, and that is the basis of all human morality. Geography has made us neighbors. History has made us friends. Economics has made us partners, and necessity has made us allies. Those whom God has so joined together, let no man put asunder. If we cannot now end our differences, at least we can help make the world safe for diversity. We are tied to the ocean. And when we go back to the sea, whether it is to sail or to watch, we are going back from whence we came. Peace is a daily, a weekly, a monthly process, gradually changing opinions, slowly eroding old barriers, quietly building new structures. The great enemy of the truth is very often not the lie, deliberate, contrived and dishonest, but the myth, persistent, persuasive and unrealistic. Tolerance implies no lack of commitment to one's own beliefs. Rather it condemns the oppression or persecution of others. The goal of education is the advancement of knowledge and the dissemination of truth. Man is still the most extraordinary computer of all. Domestic policy can only defeat us, foreign policy can kill us. If art is to nourish the roots of our culture, society must set the artist free to follow his vision wherever it takes him. I am the man who accompanied Jacqueline Kennedy to Paris, and I have enjoyed it. Mankind must put an end to war before war puts an end to mankind.
If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, it cannot save the few who are rich. Once you say you're going to settle for second, that's what happens to you in life. Efforts and courage are not enough without purpose and direction. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Those who make peaceful revolution impossible will make violent revolution inevitable. There are risks and costs to action, but they are far less than the long-range risks of comfortable inaction. Our most basic common link is that we all inhabit this planet. We all breathe the same air. We all cherish our children's future. And we are all mortal. Leadership and learning are indispensable to each other. Those who dare to fail miserably can achieve greatly. A nation that is afraid to let its people judge the truth and falsehood in an open market is a nation that is afraid of its people. Too often we enjoy the comfort of opinion without the discomfort of thought. My brother Bob doesn't want to be in government, he promised dad he'd go straight. My fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. The greater our knowledge increases the more our ignorance unfolds. A man may die, nations may rise and fall, but an idea lives on. When power leads man toward arrogance, poetry reminds him of his limitations. When power narrows the area of man's concern, Poetry reminds him of the richness and diversity of existence. When power corrupts, poetry cleanses. Washington is a city of southern efficiency and northern charm. America has tossed its cap over the wall of space. We would like to live as we once lived, but history will not permit it. Now we have a problem in making our power credible, and Vietnam is the place. I'm an idealist without illusions. I think, hail to the chief, has a nice ring to it. Sure it's a big job, but I don't know anyone who can do it better than I can. The United States has to move very fast to even stand still.